going. going. It's going. <laughs> hey guys, happy dance week. Thought I would bring you along this week for classes and rehearsals. We start, we started rehearsals like two weeks ago on Wednesdays and then we're adding in Mondays starting tonight. So thought I'd bring you guys along for a week of dancing. So yeah, get ready for class. Turn up the light up. And I'm wearing a white leotard. I don't know. I don't know about this guy. So I'm excited, but I'm scared. So we'll see. It's gotta be great. That was such a super fun rehearsal. I'm really excited to do this piece. It's very different and I haven't moved that way in such a long time, so I love the challenge of that. Um, and to get out of the ballet bubble, you know, it can get a little stiff, so. Uh, pretty excited about that. Um, update on the white Leo. Didn't take my shirt off over it during class. I was not brave enough and I could tell that like my boobs were like sinking down into it because I, I tried to wear it without a bra and now I know like I need to wear something with it, but the back of it is like, um, it looks bad if you don't have a, if you have a bra like blocking it, so I've gotta figure out what to do. Anyway, I like the Leo a lot, and I thought I would take the shirt off during rehearsal at least, but I just didn't ever get like warm enough, so then I didn't wanna take my shirt off because then I was gonna be colder than I already was, so anyway, I will work up to it. I like the Leo though. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning. Um, it's so dreary, so dreary and like blah outside. <laughs> yeah, it's like I didn't, had a hard time getting up because my room was just completely dark this morning, you know, when there's like no sunlight and so <laughs> your whole room's just like a dungeon. But I also had a hard time getting up this morning because after rehearsals last night, I have a hard time settling down to like go to bed. I'm, but I'm like wired and energized from exercising till 9.30 at night. And so I get home and usually I'm hungry so I eat dinner at like 10 o'clock at night, which I don't like doing, but also I gotta eat. So I will do that and then I will either like keep working on stuff if I haven't gotten all my work done that I need to get done for the day um, and or put something on Netflix. And like last night I put on that new show Cheer on Netflix. Uh, love it so much. But yeah, I just like couldn't, I was not, a, I was just not tired at all. The next thing I knew it was 3 a.m. I was like, uh, <laughs> that's gonna suck tomorrow. So yeah, I've got to figure out some way to just like make myself go to bed. This morning though, I'm like, I've got a lot of work I need to get done, but I'm giving myself like a half hour to just kind of relax before I just completely put a bunch of things on my plate. So if you guys have any tips for how to get to sleep, I don't really want to like take anything, but I don't know. I got to figure out something to help me get to bed earlier on those late rehearsal nights, so. Right. Mail time! Where, where can I shoe? I don't know where, what shoes are you talking about? Yeah, really you're missing know. one shoe? Yes. How did you do that? Because you moved it. I didn't touch your shoe. Did you move? Anyway, new point shoes are here. I've been getting these off of eBay from a girl and I love them and she has like 10 pairs left and so I'm gonna try to utilize them as much as I can. Um, but yeah, it's Wednesday and I am about to head out the door to go to class. This is my uh, beginner intermediate class, but we do have a lot of beginners in there. So it's a good class to really focus on all the technique and the basics. And so it's also, I like to put point shoes on for bar sometimes and really make it really difficult. <laughs> yeah, and then after class I have rehearsal tonight, so it should be a fun dance evening. Okay. 
Go first, 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 fifth. Slow it down. Second, second, fifth and fifth. Kumbay, one, two, three, assembly. Lisa, jete, 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 and I want to see Lisa, up, jete, Lisa, up, jete, so that your leg gets there before you land. And the same thing has happened on Sambo. Tongo, baby, step, Lisa, up together, and land. Seven, and Lisa, jete, Lisa, jete, Tongo, baby, step, Lisa, and Sambo, try to throw your brain, Lisa, jump. So the glissade is being glide as you stay up at the same level. It really should go up and over on the glissade. side. Yeah, that should be more glissade. Jump. Yeah. Seven and up. 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 And turn. Keep it in front. Up, up, fifth, turn, all the way down fifth, heels down, heels down, heels down, heels down, last one, okay, good, um, I'm seeing a lot of going plie like this, and not getting the heel down, yeah, make sure your heel goes down to fifth, up, both heels down and fifth, don't stop here. Which is gonna put you, it's harder to balance there. You have to get your feet, feet down, you're gonna have a little more balance. Yeah. Class of rehearsal, it's like 10, 15, I think. And it just dawned on me that like, I'm not dancing again this week. So that was, that, this is it for my dance week. So the rehearsal tonight, usually we work on the first piece that we started learning, which is kind of like a tango piece. Um, but our choreographer, she was not there today. So Charles uh, filled in for her today. And so we worked on her piece a little bit, like as much as, you know, as far as we had gotten last week he helped us clean some stuff and then we worked on his piece again so we got to we just started learning his piece on monday and so we got to go ahead and revisit it on wednesday so it's kind of nice to get a refresher like that soon after but i did center class in my point shoes today and i like honestly can't believe i did that because <laughs> the bar that i did bar and flat and it just like wore me out like my calves were killing me and i was like i don't think i'm gonna do i don't think i'm gonna make it on point and then i was just like ugh. brought my shoes by the bar i like told myself i was gonna do it so i did it so um, let me go through my like pros and cons of, of my uh not pros and cons but let me go through my um the things that i thought i did well and the things that i struggled with um things that i struggled with just standing in point shoes and doing like a double pay. <laughs> it was so hard, I forget how hard that is. Um, we did some like fuerte to arabesque, fuerte back to Alisakan and I like, <laughs> it was very difficult, it was super frustrating. He also in that same combination I think, did an arabesque and then like plie releve. And I just, I, you know, this is one of those things that I've been trying to build up to and 
I just didn't feel ready to do it in class. Like it's one thing to just like practice it on its own, but that to like implement it in a combination is a lot harder. So I didn't do it, um, but I was able to get some of the like pot de beret stuff. And we also did in like a tondu combination, just like piques up into susu, um, devant and derriere. And of course the ones in derriere are so hard, you know? And I didn't get like a perfectly straight back leg for those, but I mean, I just, at least I went for it and I got on point and I didn't fall out of it. So, um, calling that a win <laughs> for today. Uh, we did some like sutanus in a combination across the floor, like a, a Bourneville kind of thing where you do the like, where you like step back, chasse, jump. And there were like quite a few of those just like across the floor and I couldn't quite get the releve on the little devil pay thing. Just think, I'm sorry, I just did it on Demi Point. You know, I was trying to just not expect too much of myself, but I also didn't want to not push myself at all. So I feel like I did a good balance of it. Um, but things that I thought I did well, I thought I did pretty good in jumps in point shoes. Um, I'm loving these free classics. I feel like they're like the perfect amount of like they're soft enough on my foot where I feel like it's the shoes like a part of my foot, but there's like just enough hardness in there for me to feel secure up on point. I just, I think I just don't like it. And the shoe's really light. Like I just don't like a heavy shoe. I'm just all these things I'm discovering every time I wear point shoes, what I do and don't want. Marco, are you kidding me right now? Where are you gonna go, huh? Where are you gonna go? <laughs> oh, but yeah, the suit news, we did like, that same combination across the floor. We did like two sutinés in a row and then a PK arabesque pose. Like I'm happy about the sutinés, but I'm also like disappointed in how I did the sutinés. Like I definitely didn't like relax into them. And I say relax meaning like I just get really like uh, uptight instead of just like using my muscles. Um, seriously, like what is she doing? Marco, will you quit it? Up. Sparkle. Like I think I could have just like used more lift in my core and sort of like got up and over onto it instead of feeling like I need to like get on one leg, try to get the other leg there and turn around. I was like making it a lot harder than it needed to be. But went for it, tried it. But we had a lot of like PK arabesque. We did one PK arabesque where you like double paid through with the back leg and um really proud of myself because I think a year ago I would have been too freaked out to do that in class and so yeah I think that was about all I just love that I like have a class that I feel like I can put the shoes on and kind of do you know work at my own pace with the point work um I get help if I need help but I also feel like I just need to process things at my own speed and I like that I can do that um in a comfortable environment. Everybody's so supportive. Like, there's a girl that's doing class in, in the performance group with me, her name's Cece, and she's just like the sweetest person ever, and she's being so sweet after rehearsal, telling me how proud she was of my point work in class today, and it just made me feel really good. So, really helps to have support of your dance buddies. While I'm down here real quick, I know I showed you guys that I got these in the mail earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and um, try on the new pair and just like see how they feel compared to these because looking at them just through the bag it, like the platform appears to be slightly smaller than the current pair that I'm in but I might not be able to tell the difference you know but I know because they're like freed like handmade shoes like they're not always going to be uh, the same every single time so I did find out I've been ordering these off of eBay and I messaged the girl because I was like I love these shoes um can you tell me what you had done to them in case you run out and I just want to call Freed and order them? And she told me that this maker had retired, the O maker retired. So that's why she is selling these shoes. But they worked well for me. They're a six and a half, one X, four to flex shank. Uh, it's three quartered, so it's cut out here. And the sides have been cut lower, if you can even see that. So I'm just gonna throw these on real quick. And my feet are like, Am I warm still? Not really, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, man. I 
feet are tired, guys. <laughs> my feet are tired. Oh, wow. Yeah, these, that feels a lot smaller. I may need to switch shoes on my feet. Markle, quit it. Come here. Digging this left shoe. Ugh, try swapping it. Okay, I think that works better. That's also what's kind of annoying about the free shoes is like you really have to kind of test them out and figure out how they're gonna feel because each one is different. Yeah, I really was thinking this was gonna be a much longer dance week than it was, uh, but just Monday and Wednesday. <laughs> but you know, that's still a lot of dancing, class and rehearsal both nights, so yeah, just happy to bring you guys along even if it is a short couple of days. So appreciate you guys watching and being supportive as always. I'm excited to share these next performances with you. I think they're gonna be really fun. Oh, I need to also share with you my summer intensive plans. They're kind of still in the works. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait and not tell you just yet. I'm sorry, that sucks, it's so annoying. But yeah, I'll be sharing stuff soon. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Ballerines by Night if you're not. I will definitely post stuff there. And if you're gonna go to Art Emotion, summer intensive, Ali Debona and Rex Tilton's intensive that they do for adults, they've got two, two of them happening. This summer one is the the full workshop in Salt Lake City where you can do a full day or the half day option and then they're doing another week in Cleveland Ohio and it's just gonna be the, the half day option so it's just like a workshop if you're gonna go to either one of those let me know um, and also if you sign up will you please use my code I have a code that will give you a discount it will get you $35 off of your tuition so use my code pretty please that really is it for me now Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Love you guys and I will see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.